Salian's urban population is rapidly growing, with over 40% of the country's population now living in urban areas. Freetown, as Salian's capital, accounts for 15% of the country's population, but less than 0.1% of the total landmass. The pressure of rapid urbanization, coupled with a lack of development control and affordable housing, is taking an increasingly heavy toll on the forest expanse in and around Freetown. The fringes of the city are rapidly pushing into the mountains, leading to a tree cover loss of 12% or 555 hectares per annum between 2011 and 2018, increasing water shortages, loss of biodiversity, and an increased exposure to disasters. The Freetown City Council partnered with the World Bank and the government of Sierra Leone under the Resilient Urban Sierra Leone Project to fund and address some of the city's unique challenges through implementation of our hashtag Freetown the Tree Town campaign to plant and grow a million trees in the Freetown and Western Air Peninsulas over the period 2020 to 2022. Through the Resilient Urban Sierra Leone Project, the Freetown the Tree Town campaign has established an intricate tree seedling purchasing, distribution, planting and growing system, which has involved community engagement through community-based organizations and utilized open source online services, geospatial tagging through a tree tracker app and third-party verification systems to ensure complete transparency during project execution. In addition, the campaign has contributed to the government's efforts to alleviate short-term economic and poverty impacts of COVID-19, as it has created short-term jobs, especially for youth and women. 553 jobs were created in the 48 reforested areas in Freetown during the COVID-19 pandemic. Freetown City Council has partnered with Greenstand, uh, a technology firm based out of the US and Tanzania um, to digitally track uh, Freetown's new trees. So our 1 million trees, for the 1 million trees, we will build and are building a digital footprint based on um, satellite mapping and your know, regular geospatial mapping um, that allows for the tracking of individual trees. The Tree Tracker app that was created by Greenstand and customized for the Freetown City Council is used by community-based organizations, of which we have 10 that are currently operational, um, has already captured 250,000 trees uh, that have been planted and are growing to date. And each of these trees are tracked on a monthly basis. The growers care for the trees um, and take periodic geotag photos of them um, as they grow, which, which gives us a real-time understanding of the health and their survival of the tree. We have an 80% tree survival uh, uh, metric target that we have set against the 1 million trees. So the uh, Freetown Tree Planting Program is participating in a World Bank funded pilot project looking to develop a repeatable workflow for monitoring uh, urban tree canopy. Um, and this program would help us to track and quantify greening efforts. And Dar es Salaam is the other location that's also participating in this. So as part of this program, we're using satellite imagery and we're working in this case with student mappers to extract what we call training data that would identify um, existing examples of, of canopy cover. And this training data then is used to train uh, a machine learning algorithm to detect canopy. And our mappers, they used Xavier's groundwork platform. So that's a tool, an online tool. They didn't have to uh, download anything, but this tool allowed them to digitize or capture and then label representative samples of existing canopy cover that we would then use to train and, and generate the algorithm. Under the Russell project, there is an ability now for the city to manage its national resources and mitigate critical recurring hazards through scaling up spatial planning capacity with a robust data-driven approach.